Well, hey everybody, today is going to be a very challenging fishing trip. This is an exploratory fishing trip. I'm in an area that I don't frequent very much. I'm trying to find new territory to come back to later in the spring. It's right now it's uh, March 3rd, and we're out here looking for speckled trout. We're looking for redfish and snook. Mostly I'm looking for speckled trout, but we're here in the Fort DeSoto area, and I'm going to be plucking away on these flats, hitting the potholes, hitting the mangrove edges, and uh, we'll see what I can find. Uh, we got some challenging conditions. It's very windy today. It's 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. You may be able to hear the wind in the mic. Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those days where we put in a lot of work. So uh, come along with us and let's see what we can do. So here we have one of my all-time favorite colors. That's the meat hook color, saltwater assassin lures. Their paddle tails are really good. They got a good action. And I got a Z-Man trout eye jig head. That's an eight ounce jig head. Casting this with the wind, bring it back over some of these sand patches, and uh, kind of be looking at anything significant I see along the shoreline. Going to be hitting some of that. So uh, that is a really good candidate for trout. Also have a little bit different. I got a darker color, also by Saltwater Assassin. This is the Mama's 14K jerk bait. Put it on a weighted hook. This thing has an awesome shimmy stop it. I mean, it, this thing looks really good. You stop that thing, it's wiggling all the way down. It kind of meanders around. I think fish would jump all over that. That's a really good color. It's got gold, black, and silver. And it's got a little bit of a purple tinge on top. That's a really good contrast. I think that's going to be a winner. When you're out here fishing on the flats with artificials, puffer fish are something you got to deal with, and uh, that's about three casts in a row I've gotten chewed up by puffer fish. And, you know, they can go through them pretty quick, so these puffer fish are giving me a hard time. Pretty guy. Hello. I felt like a big guy. <laughs> Such a beautiful fish. I grew up catching these things. So. Hopefully we can find a few more better ones. Little bitty trout. A lot of times it's not really a super violent take. It can be sometimes, but a lot of times, especially with these paddle tails, they just come in and just like that and just kind of hang there. Another one. Ooh, another little trout. Little, little baby. I'm telling you, man, he come, he, they come up and just boom, and it just gets heavy. Now we're obviously looking for fish bigger than this, but it's a good sign that that they're in here. And of all the inshore fish, that has got to be the prettiest one. Just a beautiful dot, uh, spot pattern on there. So something to remember when you're speckled trout. Jeez, that's a good fish. Something to remember is that trout will hang out away from the mangroves. Well, he nailed it. That's a decent fish there. Look at that. That's a nice trout. Meat hook, saltwater assassin paddle tail. Look at that trout, dude. Freaking nailed it. That's a high quality fish right there. Now, when you go speckled trout fishing, that's what you're looking for. Not a giant, but that's a really high quality fish. Nailed it. This color right here is a color you need to check out. This is the meat hook color from Saltwater Assassin Lures. And that's a Z-Man Trout Eye Jig Head. Check them out, you won't be disappointed. So the kind of bottom you're looking for a lot of times when you're doing inshore flats fishing is the mottled patchy bottom. It looks kind of like camouflage almost. You got light sand patches and you got grass mixed in around it. That 
attracts a lot of different fish and they will utilize the variations at the bottom to their advantage. So I was coming along, there's a there's an oyster bar over here. Jesus, I just got lit up again. Jesus. I get lit up right here next to the boat. Um, there's a little depression right here. It's maybe six to ten inches difference, but you can see this is a little bit different, a little bit deeper water. Oysters, depression, your main flat out here, you know. Um, just that little change is enough to track the fish. Right in that hole. Trout. Got it. It's a nice trout. They're right in the pothole way down there. See that pothole about 50 yards away. That's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. Look at that. That is a nice trout. About a 17, 18 inch fish. Come here, buddy. That's a beauty. Telling you guys. Well, broke my line. Telling you that meat hook, saltwater assassin is the ticket. You need to stop by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. Tampa Fishing Outfitters or Tarpon Fishing Outfitters and get the meat hook color. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what does. Alright, so we had fun back in that little cove back there on that big finger island and uh, now we're moving out onto the main flat out here. So we're going to find some of these pockets and holes out here in the big open flat and pluck away at them and see if we can pull some nice trout out. Uh, they're known to hold a lot of trout, so we'll see if they're staged up in there right now. Little small trout. This is an ambitious one. Came out of this little hole here. Dumped it real good. Little guy. A rainbow seashell. It's a good sign. We've been fishing a bunch of holes and actually went over a small one, didn't think much of it, and there was actually some nice fish in it. it blew them out of that one, so kind of a bonehead move there, but uh, moved on. And we're on another hole. Ambitious little trout. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. So I got a quarter ounce jig head and the uh, rainbow sea shad paddle tail. 20 pound crystal clear fluorocarbon from O'Hara. And uh, this is a really good lure to catch a lot of different fish. And the speckled trout especially, they love it. I'm just swimming in across the sand hole right here. We're in a big expansive seagrass flat. And packed in here, there's little pockets. And in these little pockets, you'll find the predators. They're sitting in there waiting for pinfish and shrimp and mullet to come by, and they pounce on them. Now that was not a trophy by any means, but that's just an example of how these game fish will sit in these pockets and just wait. There he is. Ooh, look at him. I got him. Nice trout. Nice old trout, my friend. Look at that. He inhaled it. Another beautiful trout. Focusing all my effort on these sand holes minimizes a lot of time wasting. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm going from hole to hole and if I see kind of a trail of patchy grass, I'll kind of follow that trail and look for the next hole. There'll be trout sitting in that patchwork and then they'll be around that hole probably within a 10 to 15 yard radius and they'll be right in the hole. So uh, you know, there's a huge area around here. I could fish for hours and hours and hours out here just casting, looking, casting, looking and you know if I wasn't trying to relate to some sort of significant difference in the in the flat then I'd just be I'd be working with no information and the fish are utilizing this 
difference, uh, this different feature on the flat uh, to their advantage. So um, it's little things like that that make a big difference in your fishing. Loaded in here, man. Slightly bigger. What do you know? Another schooly trout. All right. So uh, for just for a second, let's talk about the tackle for today. Um, standard inshore spinning setup for me. Florida fishing products, Osprey, four thousand, and an O'Hara Hyper Series rod seven and a half foot medium action with a fast tip 20 pound braided line and for today's trout fishing we're using a fluorocarbon leader that's also 20 pound quarter ounce jig head rainbow shad bass assassin saltwater assassin sea shad that's how you get it done on the flats today for speckled trout well, the sun's getting a little low now. It's about time to head back to the dock and get the boat cleaned up. I've had a great time out here. I hope you've learned a few things about trout fishing and about flats fishing. We started up near the mangroves, pulled a couple nice trout off those flats, and then we came back out here onto the main flat and hit some of these potholes out here. Pulled a bunch of schooly trout out. Hell, no monsters out here, but man, did we catch numbers. Definitely a great time. Uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button if you like this video share it with a friend uh, if you think you'll be useful later put it in your favorites I'd like to thank our sponsors st. Pete fishing outfitters Tampa fishing outfitters and tarpon fishing outfitters for making these videos bigger and better for you to watch email headfirstfishing at gmail.com if you have any questions and if you ever buy any of those tackle stores mention this show and you'll get a discount on your next purchase. I'll see you later.